straight because i'm straight if you're new subscribe make sure you hit that bell button so you'll miss no post notifications also welcome if you don't know who i am i'm key and it's my channel d so this is the video where you're gonna get your snacks so if you don't know today is um what's the uh story time tuesdays story time tuesdays is a thing on my channel as you can tell by the title this is a, this is a video of how my baby choked and I had to call the cops. Some of y'all are going to be like, what would the cops have done? Like, would they even have made it on time? Anything like that? Well, questions like that. <clears throat> so, this is when I was living at the apartment still. And Q was at work. His mom was living with us. And she was on the balcony. And I was feeding Kamira some popsicles. So... We're chilling. I'm feeding her popsicles. I put it in my mouth and I turn my head a little bit away from her. And I'm getting ready to break the piece of popsicle to give to her. And she starts choking. I turn my head instantly and see that she's... <clears throat> she was around seven months at this time, too. So she was gasping for air. She could not breathe what so... Like, that piece of plastic was the perfect size to block my baby's airway. You know, sometimes when you choke, you can at least still breathe. She couldn't breathe at all, and she was only seven months. When I tell you this video, or video, but this time felt like it took, the whole time she was choking, it felt like it took a whole hour, or even longer. Honestly, it felt like it took so long, but as it was happening, it was so fast, like literally so fast. So, I grabbed my baby, and Marion hears her choking. Marion is um, Q's little brother. So, Marion, I told Marion, I said, go get, your mom, go get your mom, go get your mom. What, baby? I told Marion, I said, go get your mom, go get your mom. So, he grabs her off the balcony. She, just by looking at me, she already knew something was wrong. And her heart just, looking at her, everything looked like, it just looked like, she just knew, honestly. It's like, I guess that's a mother instinct. Like, it just, it was crazy. I don't know how to explain it. Like, you could just tell she just knew something was wrong just by looking at my face. So, I'm, I'm crying. I wasn't bawling my eyes at this point, but I was crying because I had gave up. I felt I was going to get the plastic. Well, first, I'm beating Kamira on her back, right? Because that's what I was told to do. The doctor say if she's ever choking, beat her on her back a certain way. Obviously, I didn't put her in that certain way because I had so much adrenaline in me and I just didn't remember what. <clears throat> and I didn't remember. So, so I'm beating her on her back. Then I finally go like this to take the plastic out and nothing comes out. I actually pushed her back further and I felt it. So, that's when I, inst I just started crying. I'm like, I gave up. I literally gave up. And that's one of the worst things to do as a mom is give up on your baby when, especially at the most time when she needs you. She needed me the most right here, and I just gave up on her. Like, I felt so bad. Y'all don't The feeling is not even explainable. Like, it was just the worst feeling in the world. Unless this happens to you, you understand. You know what I mean? But God forbid it does because that is the most scariest thing in the world. And if you're a mom, take the mommy and me classes. I promise you, it is a world game changer. I really wish, that's my one regret, is that I wish I would have took them classes. But, um, yeah, so after, okay, so after his mom comes in and she sees me, she instantly grabs Kamira. She starts patting her on, I didn't have to tell her that she was choking. She started patting Kamira on her back and nothing was like Kamira was not making any progress. She was still choking. She was still she was still choking and just couldn't breathe. So she reaches her hand in Kamira's throat and is trying so hard to take that plastic out. And that's when I started bawling my eyes. I'm like, I gotta call the cops. She's like, call the cops, call the cops. So I call the cops. And the whole time at this point, I'm watching her. Like in my mind, I wanna scream, like, come on, help my baby get this out. When Q's mom was doing her best. She was trying to get it out of, her, out of my baby's mouth. But she, it just was like, it was stuck in there. And then plus me pushing it back more, it was just like, it was really hard. And me just seeing my baby in that 
state of matter just like killed me and I'm I wanted to yell and I'm on the phone and I'm and I'm just angry at this point and it's really my fault and I'm angry at myself but the whole time I just wanted to scream and, and yell so I'm on the phone with the cops or yeah the cop when I one and I'm like my baby's choking my baby's choking please come I, she's like what's your address and at that point I had blinked out like I hear and see everything but I blinked out and um <clears throat> After that, um, the lady's asking me questions and I, I just didn't answer. And, I, and then I finally come back and I'm like, or no, why would, I, why would I give my real address? But so I give her my address or whatever. And that's when, um, that's when she's like, okay, okay, okay. And I just started bawling my eyes out because his mom grabbed the piece of, she got the plastic out. She said, I didn't see it and we couldn't find it. Like after, you know, she had got out Kamara's mouth, we went to go search for it. We couldn't find it. So that's why she told me to stay on the phone with them because just in case it was still stuck in her, which she was breathing. So <clears throat> that's all I needed my baby to do was breathe. I just want to make sure that I didn't kill my baby. You know, I feel like I say I, because yeah, she put it in her mouth, but it's my responsibility to move all this stuff away from her because that's arm's reach. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> oh, okay, so she gets the plastic out Kamara's mouth, and I see blood on her finger. Literally, when I tell y'all, it was like this much blood. It really wasn't nothing. It was just blood because she scratched the top of Kamara's uh, mouth up there. But when I saw it, y'all, I don't know if it's because I'm dramatic or what, but I swear her whole finger was filled with blood. And I, I was about to pass out. I was about to pass out. I was so scared. It was the most craziest, weirdest feeling, and just... Ugh, something you would never want to experience as a mom or as anybody period you don't want to ex experience that so there's blood i see blood all over her finger and i just start freaking out i grab a vacuum even though my baby was good i didn't grab her to hug her because i felt like <clears throat> i didn't deserve that y'all it's gonna make me cry i just felt like i didn't deserve to hug her because i literally like almost let her pass in my arms you know what i mean because i gave up i pushed it back and it just i don't know so after that um i tell the cops where we live and i hang up and i just pick up the vacuum and i start vacuuming the whole floor like i'm talking about i kept vacuuming the same spot over and over and i was crying i'm talking about bawling my eyes out and um Q's mom is trying to come for me. She's like, it's okay. It happens to almost every mom. And it's just experience we go through. It's not your fault. And as she's telling me this, I'm like, how? It's, it is my fault. Like, it, it happened in, when I was right here. Like, I should have paid attention. And then that's when I grabbed my baby from her. And I just started hugging her and kissing her. And <clears throat> that's when the cop pulled up. Or the ambulance pulled up. And I was like... He's asking me all these questions. I couldn't answer him because I was so sad and so hurt that his cute mom was talking for me. It was just so crazy, y'all. But let me go because the girls are going to get into something. And all I need for me to do is make a video like this and boom, something happens. So, bye, y'all. <laughs> so, again, y'all, if you, this is just something I have to say. If you can, if you're a mommy or soon to be mommy or a want to be mommy, meaning like you want to get pregnant or whatever, Please take mommy classes because I promise you it'll come in handy. Like, they teach you so much stuff. Honestly, I really don't know. But that's my one regret is because the lady I was talking to told me, like, they help you in so many situations. Like, if your baby ever was to choke or if anything like that, how to feed your baby the right way. They just gave you all type of tips and stuff like that. So, and showed you literally how to do and what to do. So... If I was y'all, I promise you take that class. Take the class. Alright, bye y'all.